having the pressure off of myself for this last week as far as weight loss has been just mentally so refreshing. It turned out that it's been a blessing in disguise. Yeah. Hi guys, if you are new to my channel, I'm Christina and I'm on a journey to lose 100 pounds. This is the third and last video that I'm making in the series of Heart Yourself that I've been making in collaboration with Sarah at Lose Weight Sarah. I'm going to include her channel down below. You guys should go check it out. I found it fitting uh, since my injury this month that kind of put a damper on my progress. Well, I'm going to say put a damper, quote unquote, because it turned out that it's been a blessing in disguise. Having this time to not be able to work out and just kind of assess where I am mentally and emotionally has been incredibly helpful when I made my last video I was talking about this setback but in fact this was just such a welcome time to dive deeper into what I had already started at the beginning of the month which was this self-improvement focus my injury has basically taken the pressure off and it's allowed me to really focus on loving my body just as it is right now I found it so interesting that my injury happened at such an opportune time because I thought I was doing well mentally and emotionally on my journey, making quite a bit of progress. This has given me a glimpse so much deeper into what I need to work on. Having the pressure off of myself for this last week as far as weight loss has been just mentally so refreshing. And what I've realized is that I could do a better job at loving myself even more. I found myself feeling so grateful that my body is able to recover so quickly. I started making lists upon lists of reasons why I am thankful for the body that I'm in. As I've been journaling about this throughout this last week, it's been really incredible to see how I look at myself differently in the mirror and I'm able to appreciate my flaws. I know they're there. I've been filled with this gratitude over what my body has been through. It's given me a whole new appreciation for what I have while I was dealing with my quote unquote setback because I'm not going to call it a setback anymore. I feel like it's just this welcome pause to go even deeper in this path that I was already on to love myself more. I'm going to share with you guys what I learned in this last week. These are not like mind-blowing discoveries. They're just like little things that have helped kind of deepen my love and appreciation that I have for my body. Because I was slowed down, I was brought to a pause with my workout routine and all of that. Things have slowed down for me without my intent. I've had more time to dedicate to trying new things. I've given meditation a real shot. And I'm going to tell you that it has changed the way I look at things and the way I look at meditation in general. So I've been meditating for the last week daily, several days. I've done it more than once a day. And what I can say is that it's helped me tremendously with my state of mind. Just taking those deep breaths and relaxing has helped me so, so much. Meditation is a beautiful way to center yourself. When you feel like you're about to have one of those moments where you're just so overwhelmed and so stressed out and you can't come up with logical reasons as to why you would be feeling this way, I highly, highly recommend taking a little bit of time for yourself, taking a few deep breaths. You will feel amazing. I, I, know, I can vouch now for myself that it's helped me quite a bit. Number two on the list of things that have helped me this week is mindful movement. So because I wasn't able to work out in the last week and I really, really wanted to move a little bit, what I started looking into is different ways in which I can move my body that will actually make me feel good. So I called it mindful movement because I found different ways in which I can be active and really not considered a workout. So I would do stretching and I did a little bit of yoga, 
only things that were easy on my back and things that were just enjoyable it's amazing what it did for my well-being and for my mental well-being the fact that i was moving if you've been stuck in this mindset that you need to work really hard and you need to exercise and it needs to be a crazy exercise routine take a little bit of time to figure out what else you enjoy doing and do some of that and see how it will make you feel. So moving your body in a mindful way is much different than exercising or working out. This isn't about forcing yourself to do something you hate. This is about tuning into your body and asking yourself what you need. One of my favorite ways to move my body is walking outdoors and just getting fresh air, looking at the trees, looking at the water, and just being outdoors and really enjoying the moment. The third thing on my list that I find a very loving thing to do for yourself is to read a good book. So this last week I started reading three books. I've been finding myself getting lost in reading quite a bit and that's been just so nice and relaxing. It's really taken my attention off of the fact that I couldn't do much to help my situation much more than I was already doing. So that I would just have to let time kind of heal my back injury and get myself feeling better that way. So a good book can do a lot on any day but especially when you're feeling a little bit out of sorts or feeling like you can't do much because of your circumstances. Another thing that has helped me, and this is number four on my list, find your place of bliss. And what I'm talking about, I, for example, I enjoy going for walks quite a bit and I enjoy finding places in nature where I could just sit by and either bring out my uh, diary or take notes on my phone, write things on my phone because I feel really inspired when I'm out in nature. I like to sit in a beautiful setting and just really absorb all of that beauty in and just let my mind be completely at ease. I feel like we should all have that one place we can go to feel blissful. When I need to rejuvenate my soul and just kind of, I feel like I need a pick-me-up. But for you that could be something else, whether it's hanging out with friends or just going to a coffee shop or whatever. It can be your own personal blissful scenario. Last but not least, whenever you're going through like a negative experience like the one I've experienced last week with my back injury and you find yourself a little bit lost and a little bit needing some motivation, take the time and do some mirror work. Affirmations of self-love in the mirror. Take a couple of minutes to look at yourself in the mirror and just tell yourself all of the things that you would like to hear like you're beautiful i believe in you you've got this today is a gift it's a magnificent day to start over you can come up with a million different positive affirmations for yourself whatever works for you and do those as a ritual every morning i know it's helped me quite a bit overcome situations where i've been feeling down or feeling depressed or feeling sad the thing is we are responsible for our own lives we know the things that we need the most what a better way to do this than to offer this to yourself every day what you need to hear instead of expecting it from other people that might not know what you actually need. It is a life changer, you guys, and I highly recommend you do this if you haven't done any yet. I'm going to wrap this video up here. I really hope that this heart yourself challenge has made an impact in your life even in the smallest way if it has please let me know in the comments below i would love to hear from you thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next video